CompTIA certifications versus Cisco certifications. Which of these are better for your career? Specifically, just starting out as an entry-level person trying to get into the IT industry, which one is better? Now, when I say CompTIA versus Cisco, I'm really saying Vendor neutral certs, which is CompT is a vendor neutral cert, meaning that they're not talking about Cisco, they're not talking about Microsoft specifically. It's a general knowledge cert for every vendor, right? If that's possible. And then vendor cert. So we got Cisco, Microsoft, Juniper, AWS, Google, all those other guys. So I'll be touching on that on a larger scale, but more specifically, I want to look at CompTIA versus Cisco, being that they're probably the biggest cert vendors out there. And more specifically, because I am a network engineer, I want to focus on the Cisco CSENT versus the CompTIA Network Plus. Now, you might remember that I've talked about this before. In fact, I, I think it was last year or the year before, and I emphatically said, Network Plus, don't get that one. It's a no-go. CSENT is by far a superior cert. But some things have changed. One, I've actually created training for Network Plus on CBT Nuggets. So I actually went through it and, and everything, and, and also I, I did some more research. And it's kind of surprising what I found. Honestly, I'm, I'm shocked what I found. So here we go. Oh, and real quick, this is day seven of my 10 day giveaway. Today I'm giving away Alpha Prep's practice exams for the CSENT, which is kind of topical here, and then ICND to the other half of the CCNA. So two giveaways, watch until the end of the video to find out how to enter. All right, so before I can discuss CSENT versus Network Plus, what are those things? Because <laughs> you may be just now getting into IT and trying to figure out what direction to go in, what path to go down, and what certifications you can get. Okay, CSENT is the Cisco Certified Entry Level Network Technician. It covers a ton of industry standard networking topics. Now, I'll say industry standard, that means whatever you learn in the CSENT, the majority of it you can apply to any other networking vendor, so you're pretty safe there. However, there is a big focus on Cisco products, and specifically the Cisco command line. And it makes sense, it's a Cisco certification. But here's the thing, and this is what cracks me up. Cisco pretty much invented networking. <laughs> that, that They've been around forever, and what's kind of crazy is all the networking vendors out there, not all of them, but most of them, copied Cisco. So if you go to a different networking device, if you go to Dell or Arista or Juniper, guess what? You're going to find very, very similar commands on the CLI. And because a lot of the networking concepts you'll learn in the CSENT are industry standard, again, they can carry over to all other vendors. And also the CSENT, while itself is an entry-level cert, is also half of the CCNA certification. So the CCNA certification is one of the, if not the most popular IT certifications out there. And to get that certification, a popular path to go down is to take the CSENT, also referred to as ICND-1, and then take ICND2, another exam, and you're CCNA certified. And then we have the Network Plus, which is a CompTIA cert, and they are a vendor neutral nonprofit organization. The Network Plus doesn't have any loyalties to any particular vendor, they just teach networking in general. And the big benefit of the Network Plus is that it is broad. I mean, they teach a ton of different things. It has a lot more exam topics and, and, and it goes into a lot more technologies than the CSENT does. All right, so we know what they are. Let's see these two suckers battle it out. Which one should you get? Which one is better for your career? And here are my two sets of criteria. And it's really the two reasons we get certifications to begin with. The first one is, well, pretty obvious. We want the knowledge. To get that particular certification, to pass the test, we have to study and learn whatever it's testing you on. So Network Plus, networking, and then a bunch of other topics. CSENT, networking, and Cisco-specific topics. And then number two, and this is my biggest reason, is you want the certification to get a job. And I guess that's really the main reason, because you can get all the knowledge without a certification, right? But you get the certification because you want those credentials because they will help you with a job, right? Okay, so we got that down. Those are our criteria. Okay, Network Plus and the CSENT. They both teach a really good base and networking knowledge. That's it. It's really great. Top notch. They both excel in those areas. You're going to walk away knowing how a network works. You're going to know about subnetting. You're, you're going to know about all that stuff. But the network plus, it goes really broad. And you know, I, I compared the exam topics and I wrote them down and this is what I found. So this is what I saw on the network plus that the CSENT just doesn't cover. Uh, we got software defined networking, um, internet of things, wireless cloud, virtual devices, so like VMs, um, SAN, so storage area networks, uh, next generation firewalls, VoIP gateways, uh, disaster recovery, business continuity, security stuff. I mean, they just, 
they go over everything. Now they don't they don't go deep. It's like walking through the a, a puddle. <laughs> they they don't go too deep into the topics, but they do go over all those topics. So that's where the Network Plus really shines. If you're looking for a good, broad understanding of IT from a networking perspective, the Network Plus does that. It's like an intro to IT, but looking through the networking perspective. It's really cool. And then for the CSEN, I think where it excels is that it gives you more practical knowledge, more hands-on knowledge, and specifically with Cisco. But like I said, a lot of people just copy Cisco a lot of vendors. So learning that stuff is gonna help you with any other vendor. The way I think about it is like the Network Plus is like a sampler platter. You're looking at the menu for IT, you're not really sure what you want to order, it all looks good, so you order the, the sampler platter. You get a little bit of everything. You don't get the whole meal, but you get a little bit, a little taste. Whereas the CSENT, you're, you're kinda sure what you want. You know you wanna go down the Cisco networking path. You know you want to become a network engineer. And it may not be that you want to work with only Cisco stuff. It's very rare that you will end up only working with Cisco stuff nowadays. But if you're pretty confident your path is gonna be becoming a network engineer, well then CSENT and then jumping right into CCNA is a no brainer. Now, what do I think about the topics? I think the Network Plus is great for someone who maybe is gonna jump right into AWS or jump right into uh, any other cloud technology like Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud because it does give you a good base of networking knowledge and then it gives you uh, some stuff about cloud too so you can understand those basics. Now I think it's good for that, but I may not necessarily think it's the best option, so hang tight for that. What I love about the CSENT is that you're one step away from the best IT certification out there, the CCNA. You get your CSENT, you're halfway there. You're almost there. Okay, so from just looking at it from a knowledge and topics perspective, they're both pretty similar. Now let's get to the main reason of why you would even want to consider getting a certification, and that's the job outlook. Which one is gonna help you get a job? And for me, the, the big criteria is just the number of jobs available. So I opened up a job search engine. I, I looked at Indeed. Indeed is one of the biggest ones, if not the biggest job search engine out there, right? I just typed in a few searches, so here's what I found. The CSENT and the Network Plus, they're, they're pretty close, but the Network Plus actually wins on the number of jobs that came up in the search. So as of today, and I didn't search any particular area, I didn't put it in any area, it's searching across the entire United States, I believe. As of today, 670 jobs came up when I searched CompTIA Network Plus. And when I searched CSENT, only 477 came up. So yeah, Network Plus wins just purely on numbers, but it's pretty dang close. Now before you go chuck, well that's a no brainer. Uh, it may be a small difference, but Network Plus comes out on top. Okay, hold on. But remember the CSENT is half of the CCNA. So if I typed in CCNA, guess how many came up? Just wild guess, what do you think? 10,000, over 10,000 actually. That's nuts, so you're one step away from a certification that has that many jobs available. Now the reason I'm just typing in the certification and searching off that keyword alone, is that's how a lot of HR, I call them machines or HR programs, will sift through resumes. So when you apply for a job, they're looking for keywords. If they're hiring for a network engineer, they're gonna type in keywords like CCNA. If they're looking for an entry level network technician, well, they might type in CSENT as their search. And also they might type in Network Plus or CompTIA Network Plus. And that's, I'm gonna be honest with you, that's where the numbers became kind of fuzzy because if I just type in Network Plus, it brings up like, <laughs> the numbers were 319,000 searches, but obviously that's just pulling up any keyword with network. And I did go through that and find out that, yeah, the, a lot of the jobs that came up didn't mention the Network Plus at all. It didn't have any mention of CompTIA. It was just the network keyword. So yeah, my numbers might be a little skewed. And some people type in Network Plus on the job uh, requirements. They might type in uh, Net Plus. So understand there might be some discrepancies. However, however, I think the rule still applies. And what's also interesting is, is I went through a few of the jobs and either typing in CompTIA Network Plus or CSENT, I would look at the requirements and a lot of them both listed Network Plus or CSENT. So a lot of jobs just want you to have that entry level and networking knowledge. Okay, cool. So that might lead you to think, well, it doesn't matter then. I can just pick one and be happy with it. Maybe, and here's my thoughts on that. And if, if I were a hiring manager and I were, I were looking at a resume and I was trying to hire maybe a network engineer, I would look at a resume and if I saw a network plus and then I saw CSENT, I would choose CSENT every time. Why is that? The CSENT tells me that you're in progress that you're working your way towards something. You may not be doing that, I don't know. I would recommend you. 
uh, keep going. But when I see C sense, I see, oh, he's almost a CCNA. That's what, that's what that communicates to me. When I see Network Plus, I see, oh, he is kind of going through the CompTIA certs, which is not a bad thing, but CompTIA, the name CompTIA, the brand of CompTIA, normally isn't associated with a higher level cert or with an admin position. Now, yeah, you do have CompTIA certs out there that are like, uh, you got the Cloud Plus and you've got Security Plus and you've got Server Plus and Linux Plus. And they, they have more what they label as advanced certs that teach on topics that aren't in the, it's generalist cert, which is the A plus. But I'm sorry, the branding still spells out entry level. That's just what it, what it communicates, which is fine because you're watching this because you're probably at that point where you are entry level. Okay, let me sum this up. Network Plus versus CSENT. I think if you know that you want to become a network engineer, CSENT is the way to go. Do it. CSENT, get your CCNA. You can go anywhere from there. You can go down any Cisco track. You can jump into another technology like AWS or Microsoft. I mean, you can go anywhere, but having your CCNA will never, ever hurt you. Trust me, it will only help. On the flip side, I think the Network Plus is good for people who just need a taste of everything. If they have no idea what path they want to go down and they also want to get a certification at the same time, yeah, that's good. Now, I didn't mention this, and this is kind of a this is kind of a big one if you're paying for your own certifications. Some people, they just get vouchers for, for being in the military or they're in school. So that, that is, it doesn't matter to you. But for those of you who are paying for your own certification test, here's the big criteria for me that I think will kind of sell this for you. As of now, 2018, Leading into 2019, the CSENT exam cost $165. The Network Plus exam cost $319. Yeah, that's pretty much double the price, double the cost. Yeah, I know the Network Plus teaches more, but I don't think it goes in depth enough for it to be worth double the price. That's just my opinion. Especially when you add in the fact that, so let's say you get your CSENT and that's $165. Okay, well then you wanna get your CCNA. You take the next exam, ICND2, that's also $165. So what is that, $330 total for your CCNA versus $319 for your Network Plus. Okay, CCNA is a lot more valuable than the Network Plus, which is why I don't compare those two, but they cost about the same. So purely from a cost perspective, CSENT wins every time. Now, okay, I understand that many of you are considering the Network Plus because you're maybe already in CompTIA's little ecosystem. Maybe you started out with the A plus certification, which I think is awesome, I really do. If you do not know anything about computers and you're trying to land that entry level position on a help desk, the A plus is killer. It's, it's, it covers so many things and it really prepares you for that job. Not to mention when I did a search for CompTIA A plus, yeah, over 2,000 jobs came up just with the keywords CompTIA A+. So I think the A+, is fantastic for you to land a help desk job. Now, if you already have a help desk job, and I covered this in my last video, don't get the A+. That's not going to help you. The A+, helps you get to a help desk job. It doesn't help you while you're there. <laughs> get a higher level cert after that. Seriously, get a vendor specific cert. Now, speaking of CompTIA ecosystem, another one that I think is amazing, because CompTIA does this, but it's the Security+. Plus. CompTIA is smart, and I'll tell you why. What they do is they create certifications that are vendor neutral, so they don't, they're not tied to any specific company, and then they try to make it a standard for uh, like the government. So like if you work for the DOD, or if you wanna work in any kind of government job or as a contractor, a lot of them, and I think it's still the standard, they require you have a Security Plus certification. So like my, my father-in-law, he works for a government contractor. He's been in IT forever, and he's a really smart guy, and he doesn't need the Security Plus, but he had to get it because it became a requirement for them. So yeah, the Security Plus, just purely looking at it from a job perspective, fantastic cert. The knowledge in it is actually great too. But like all the CompTIA certs, it doesn't go very deep. It gives you enough to understand when people are talking about the topics, but you couldn't you know, go in and design something for security, right? Oh, it's that time again? Yes, it is drop a bomble. Don't know what drop a bomble is? Oh, well the first five people who put a hashtag I'm about to mention below will win a course from David Bomble. The course today is his CCNA Packet Tracer course, which is outstanding. The hashtag today, you ready? You sure? <laughs> the hashtag is hashtag South Africa, because that's where David Bomble's from, 
and it's also where he's at right now. <laughs> so hit that hashtag below, first five people will win the course. Anyways, uh, back to the video. So as far as vendor neutral certs go, uh, we're looking at CompTIA. The A plus and the Security Plus are the only ones I would really think about getting myself and then maybe the Network Plus if I just didn't know what networking path to go down. Because like I think it would be a great prerequisite for an AWS certification or a Google Cloud certification. However, it may not be the best one for a Microsoft certification. Why do I say that? Well, because Microsoft has their own entry-level certifications just like Cisco does. They have the uh, MTA, the Microsoft Technology Associate, which if you take a bunch of different MTA certification exams, they lead you to an MCSA, the Microsoft Certified Systems Associate, I think, which is on par with the CCNA. And they do have an MTA certification that is networking. They focus on network technologies. Now it doesn't go, I, I looked at the exam topics and from my perspective, it doesn't go as in depth as the CSENT and definitely not as in depth or broad as the Network Plus. But if you're thinking about going to Microsoft, if you wanna become a Microsoft guy, but you also want to know some networking, the MTA networking specialization is probably enough. But if you're gonna be in an organization where you're gonna to have to touch Cisco devices and Arista and Dell and Juniper and all these things, I think you need to get your CCNA. So I know I kind of went off on a tangent and a rant talking about entry level certifications and vendor neutral versus vendor specific. I want to close with this, whatever you end up getting, it's going to be valuable to you. But I, I mention all this because your time is valuable and you only have so much of it. So I'm trying to help you make the best decision and make the best use of your time. If you get the network plus, it's going to be great for you. Really, it will. Because if you want to get your CCNA afterwards, it'll be a little bit easier because you already have all that networking knowledge. And like I said, when you think about certifications and which one you want to get, for me, it comes down to just how many jobs are available or what type of job do you actually want? That, that, that really, that's really what it comes down to. And I'll use this example. Like if you wanted to become a help desk technician or an IT support specialist, you might be tempted by the uh, Google IT support specialist uh, certification. Google came out with one to help you get onto a help desk or IT support. And I thought it was cool and I looked at it just recently and it's, it's a neat idea. However, when you do a search on Indeed for a Google IT support specialist, you know how many jobs came up? 11, <laughs> not much. Half the battle in getting a job in IT is just having enough stuff on your resume that you can it can be scanned and it shows up on someone's desk. So if, if that's the CompTIA A+, that's what it takes. And I'll, and I'll leave you with this last thing. And I know I keep talking about it. What I've done in kind of designing my own career and trying to figure out which certification I want to go for next, I will jump on LinkedIn and I'll search for a job that I want. Not one that I'm qualified for just yet. One that I want, that I'm aspiring to. And I'll look at those qualifications. And it might not just be one job. It might be a bunch of different jobs in my area. And it's the kind of role I want. And I'll see, oh, well, they're looking for a CCMP. Oh, they're looking for a VCP, which is VMware. Or, oh, they're looking for an MCSA. So I'll, I'll kind of, you know, jot that down and, and make my plan. So as you're figuring out what you want to be, what your next step is, I encourage you to take that step. Uh, open up Indeed, open up LinkedIn or whatever job search application that is your favorite and search in your area for what you want to be. Uh, network engineer, network admin, systems admin, DevOps engineer. Help desk technicians see what they're looking for and try to match up your resume as closely as possible because frankly, that's how those machines work. They try to match up someone's resume as closely as they can to, to the job description. That's how it works. And that's how you win. All right, guys, I did say today is day seven of my 10 day giveaway. I am giving away Alpha Prep. Don't know what Alpha Prep is? They are a practice exam software that uses machine learning and AI and they help you pass your CCNA exam. I know when I was going for my CCNA, the big problem I had was knowing when I was ready. I could never tell when I was ready to actually pass the exam. Well, Alpha Prep really helps with that and that they'll, they'll put you through the ringer of going through the practice exam and they'll hit you with a, different, a bunch of different questions. And depending on how you do, they'll assign you a score. And as you keep doing better and better and better, you get a higher score or a higher level they assign you. And once you're at that level that you need to be, they say, oh, you're ready. So it's, it's very cool what it does. So I'm giving away two prizes today from Alpha Prep. One for the IC and D1 preparation, which is CSENT. So if you are inspired by this video and you wanna get your CSENT certification, the Cisco Certified Entry Level Network Technician, mouthful, 
Well, then this one's for you. And then I'm also giving away ICND2, the other half of the uh, CCNA. So you can take that next step. So you could enter both contests or just one. I don't care. <laughs> Go for it. And thank you to Alpha Prep for offering up those uh, those giveaways. I have links to Alpha Prep below. So if you don't win, which will be most of you because only two people can win, um, look, um, hit them up. They say that 95% of people fail the CCNA on their first attempt. And they try to help you with not being that statistic. Well, guys, that's about it. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, did, did you get your Network Plus? Did you get your CSENT? What are your thoughts on that? And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit that bell button right there so you can be notified when my videos come out, especially for this drop a bomb thing. You want to be right there and ready to get those notifications. Ooh, well, that's about it. I'll catch you guys later.